So here we are with day two. Uh, I picked up the bonnet from Thomas's house uh, and I started like shaving down a little bit pieces, uh, a few pieces like uh, there were a little bit of like welts coming through here on the inner edges and I just took an angle grinder with a flappy disc and just cut it in the length just enough to to clear those little droplets but like of course still have it connected um, now I just smeared some bondo on so I can really like make that corner nice and sealed up uh, just because of like all the little imperfections and so now it's a little bit more uh, equal if that makes any sense so I can put the wrap on if I'm lucky I'm getting the wrap delivered today because uh, I was just like jumping the bullet I'm like you know just gonna spend some extra money do the wrap final and also I'm trying to because um, also from this car this has been used as a donor I also have a door and I want to change the passenger side door because the window is not working the electric window um, the motor and everything is working but like the the rails that the window goes into are like sort of holding the window and it goes so uh, heavy that it's um, constantly pulling the, the the arms of the thing out the what is it the electric window has like a sort of I don't know if you can see my reflection in the window but like has a sort of scissor motion and they they break out for some reason every time I have new clips and everything but it doesn't work so cheapest way or simplest way I'm just gonna swap the door and rewrap that and then this bonnet is gonna come off and be replaced with this one I'm in love with how it looks and I'm curious to see what it's gonna gonna do because uh, well, it should ventilate a lot more heat but I'll um, continue on the work it's uh, almost dry so I can start sanding and then when it's done with sanding I'm just gonna I don't know give it a coat of primer I think and then uh, it's on with the with the wrap final so oh no I forgot also because this hood I wanted to latch it differently because the way that is working now it is working but if I have any emergency and I need to get to my engine in a fast hurry for I don't know a fire name something weird I can't so I'm gonna install some hood pins here and there uh, I already made some brackets which I'm gonna show you in a bit and then um, let me just show you guys the hood pins so these are the hood pins this is the latches normal uh, I don't know simple easy these are the pins that are gonna go through so they will be on little brackets underneath the hood and these will be fitted up into the new one which I'm gonna do when it's on the car because I have the brackets already and now I just need to sort of line them up where I'm gonna drill the holes in the hood and the bonnet or whatever you want to call it and then uh, we'll see so see you guys in a little bit so so Thomas showed up and uh, we took the bonnet off I put the new one on there and there's only one thing It sort of fits. If you look at like placement for the radiator and everything, that should vent a lot and work. But unfortunately, um, this is not a straight line. It's hitting here. I tried to bend it around a little bit. See if I can, but. So this was the first, uh, the, the Vanos cover thing. This was the first point we were hitting. So like sort of, well, if you bend around that, Another bottom here is, and is hitting this, which is, as you can see, maybe there. I slammed it <laughs> like a few times, so I know where it is. And now I'm just gonna get an angle grinder and just cut a little bit like out here, just a little gap, so it would uh, fit over there. There's nothing you can do about that. Hoped it would fit better, but uh, that's when you don't wanna Put it on the car like five times and recalculate everything we're like oh i'm just gonna send it this will be good so if i do this another time maybe this angle a little less steep or yeah, i don't know 
because you, you want that gap because if there's no gap there's no real air ventilating through so just gonna uh, cut a little bit out here and then um, we'll see from that point also like I told you guys I have made the brackets for the hood pins these are just two nuts uh, welded on this piece of metal that these are just um, tapped into so I can just take these off and take the whole bracket off so this is where the arm is gonna sit in straight up so I'm gonna put them on a little uh, on the position they almost should be in a little bit higher and then some smear something on the top and then I close the hood and you will see the the, the print the mark of where it hits that's where I'm gonna drill and from there I can sort of mount up the uh, um, was it the hood pins which I need to do today because without hook pins uh, I removed the latches because this system is not working properly and uh, I'm gonna take this thing out and we don't need that so I'm gonna use only the hood latches so I've taken everything out and so with this without this I cannot drive uh, I'm gonna keep the factory hook that goes in here because uh, w when it does get unlatched or whatever happens, it's still on that hook as an extra safety, like original is, which uh, is sort of giving me peace of mind. I like that. So um, let's go. So there we go. It is on. Um, it's now fully like to the bottom seating. I uh, had to cut out a little gap here for the solenoid that is now at least functioning. can bend it a little bit but it needs to get some mesh in there. Um, grab one of these, uh, the template which just came out of the package like this and I just uh, wrapped it a little bit with some tape to give it some extra like uh, strength instead of the simple loose paper. So we need that one, that one need the pins and I'm gonna take the copper grease so Eight. those yet just these so like I said here's that pin so what we're gonna do now is unfortunately my tripod one of the arms legs broke so i have to sort of wedge it in between my legs now so i hope the angle is good if not i'm sorry i'm wondering if it's gonna hit that don't think so Nope. Hi. So now we screwing this one out, which uh, I don't know how much we need. Let's start off with this, see what that does. Where is it? Somewhere there. Do I have an imprint? Is it that there? This one? Could be. But, by the looks of it, we can go up a little bit higher. Because we want to make that first contact. Uh, we're not gonna like put it on the right height immediately. Because I'm gonna put some copper grease on here. Also, this is going in. I probably want this sideways or I don't know yet but it depends if we're gonna put it like this or this but there needs to be a round hole for that at least 
So now, sticky stuff on there. Some nasty uh, copper grease. We close the bonnet. So it's making contact. We lift it up and there we go. It marked the spot. So now we're gonna drill that. Same as on the other side though. Gonna do the same take there. Uh, drill a hole and pick up the camera from there. So here we go. One is on or on. Just with one bolt, but it's like uh, it locks. Press it in. Just a little bit pressure on the hood itself because that's way easier. So now it's on. This doesn't come up. And then it should pop back up. Cheap stuff. But anyway, let's give that a coat of paint, make it a little bit clean, put all the bolts in. Then one side is done. Uh, then I'm, I have drilled the hole for the other one. Uh, now I'm gonna see if it sort of lines up with that one so, because it needs to have the right like the same angle because uh, otherwise it's gonna look weird if that one and that one like if it's if it's crooked or whatever so yep almost there uh, I cleaned up all the tools because I was like well this step is done and then the delivery came and bought me some new uh, foil to do the bonnet and uh, well as you can see um, one is better than the other but then again it fits all the hole fits and uh, it will be decked off by the, the the latch so you won't see any of it and it's now all nice and uh, nice and prepped I gave it a, a little bit of uh, primer so we should be all ready to wrap this thing up literally so i'm just gonna clean it first with some water and then uh, with some uh, uh, wrap specialty stuff and I'm just gonna lay it on and uh, see how far we get it's now almost four o'clock so we have uh, a good two hours of daylight left and it's warm enough so if I'm do not doing it today later in the week it's gonna get cold so I'm gonna keep driving with a hood like this which I don't want so let's go so I've laid some wrap on, uh, the sticky side is, uh, the, the paper side is still under it, but just to lay it out. Um, now it's time to, for me, you can't see the church bell at the clock. Uh, for me it's time to pick up my girlfriend because I needed the Volvo to get the bonnet, the hood, whatever, uh, in the car and back to this house. And then I needed this car to put the bonnet on and made it all fit and so, uh, I had the car and I dropped her off at the work this morning. So I need to pick her up now. After that, I'll be wrapping that thing. And we're gonna, because it's such nice weather, we're gonna use my uh, my barbecue for the first time. It's been a little while since you guys saw it. It's uh, a little bit more, uh, more rusty now, but still loving it. And then here's the top side where I can uh, put the coals in and this barbecue in the top side, make a fire in the bottom. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like the, the normal coals in the, at the top, just for barbecuing, and then have a, a few coals at the bottom. And I'm gonna put some, um, or a little fire, and I have some like uh, fruit tree wood, like a cherry, cherry wood or something it is. Um, so you can really smoke the, the meat that you're putting on there, which is marinade. I'm gonna give you guys a look later, but. I'm gonna so so like I said I'm gonna pick her up and continue on this video in a few minutes so the wrap is on I placed one of these in there just for fun because I could but um, it's all in color there's a box under there because it's easier to wrap when you have this edge clean if there's not like if there isn't something under it uh, you will run into the issue that you're working at that edge and it really doesn't work. So, uh, just the evening sun on it. It's so insane. So 
So now we're gonna install the hook latches, but first, gonna make some dinner. Coals at the top, fire at the bottom. So after that dinner, the thing worked perfectly. It's time for the last step, which is, uh, well, installing the, the bonnet latches, pins. I need to do this with a little bit of extra heat, like the little edge. But that was the same as last time, and just uh, blasting some extra heat on there. But it's now cooling down, so it started to, to pull a little bit. Um, got two of the screws in. And like I said, it's just, uh, that's the hole with the little holes around it. And I can just put that in. Don't see any anything of the edges. And then we have these little screws, nuts, and a washer. Ah, uh, I dropped one. The thing is, I have just the right amount of hardware. I can't afford to lose any. There we go. Well, I don't actually have to really film this because I'm guessing you all know how nuts work and bolts. Yeah, I even need two hands for this. When I film myself in the meantime. Of course, one day of good weather here in Holland. <laughs> so, you want to hold the camera? Not that, it, not that it's that interesting to film, but it's easy for me to keep rambling. Hello. So, what do you think? Because you helped this process. It's uh, surprisingly easy to do. Right? Yeah, I was like, well, so, let's see how it turns out. Because I was thinking that it's easy to cut and bend, but then it's harder to like make it nice and clean and weird edges. And I think it sort of oh, succeeded. Now you have upside down Nike logos. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> with those brands. And then uh, everything to do is to adjust the little rods that go into these latches and tighten them. Peace. on them not fitting anymore Fuck. this is so interesting to watch this isn't but it's better to do it and see and go like well it's installed because that's a two minute clip now at least we have some sort of conversation do you have conversation yeah. now we have Me talking to myself. Me, myself, and I. Seven millimeter nuts. They are way too small. Also, I'm assuming that this hardware, like the top ones, uh, they will rust. Because they're pretty cheap and not like uh, stainless. So my assumption is they will rust and will look ugly, but they're in for now, they're functioning for now, and as soon as they show any coloration, then. Uh, is that your parents? Could be. Yeah, my parents did a smart thing and they bought a E46 facelift convertible 
but uh, they won't let me drive it for some reason. <laughs> Interesting. It isn't. It's been a while since I've smelled the alcohol second hand. <laughs> <Cut. laughs> second one. Should I just subtitle this with Thomas camera? <laughs> the Thomas can. Tom can. What are you doing? Special effect! Whoa. You're a special effect. Mm. And we also have the beer can. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here we have it, the final result. Hood latches are in. They even work sometimes. It doesn't pop up really. Just you have to grab for it, but still uh Yeah, it's not like you press them and they pop up. You press them here on this side and it should come up. But yeah. it, it really doesn't. eBay, we love you. eBay? No, eBay is more expensive than this. Just wish. <laughs> you know, back in the day of the rising sun time, when there was a certain person we don't speak about who uh, ordered a pallet of bullshit from uh, Japan, no, China. Are. These are from that era, so these are like, I don't know, five, six years old at least. Anyway, it works great. It works great every time. <laughs> they close my hood. Ah, there I am. Ah. Oh, there you go. The rest is cool though, because it just goes yeah. straight in. Nice fit. Um, nothing much to say about this anymore. Uh, also, I'm gonna utilize the original, I think I said that already, like the hook. So when these fail, it will still have that extra security hook so it doesn't just flop open in an instant. But I'm just in love with the, the inside look here of the radiator. It looks so race car. It's not even an aluminium radiator. Yep. That will come. So, Cheers. thanks Thomas for the help. Um, once again, I could not have done it without you. And I need to wash the car because it's the same shade of orange, but the rest is like glossy, almost matte, flat, flat, flat orange. And then the, <laughs> the top is, is very good looking. But um, anyways, let's put us both in the picture. Uh, I want to thank each Yay. and everyone. <laughs> I want to thank each and everyone for watching. Uh, please, if you like this video, please give it a like. Um, and he walks away from me. So. Yeah, because I was almost tripping over the curb there. Yeah. 
anyways uh leave a comment what you think of it down below um if you have any suggestions on mods that i should do or try out and and see what it is or beer that i should drink or beer that thomas should drink no cheap shit now you need to keep buying beer because people start re recommending beers you have to import them from all over europe or the world well, then people should send me some beers i don't have a post drop off thing P.O. Box. Well, you have now in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. I don't have that big of a following that they're gonna send me stuff. And I don't want to ask. Yeah, I'll put mine in the comments. <laughs> you can send them to me. Send them some uh, fraternity tests and stuff. <laughs> that's the cheap nice. shit that people can send. It's free. Just fill in your address and you get shit at home for free. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not that shit. Anyway, I'm in love with the car. It's getting better and better. Uh, I think now the hood sort of fits the rest of the body, like the bumpers and the, the white body that it has. Because um, it was just a stock hood and now it isn't anymore. That little hole there is still sort of an eyesore for me, but I might do something about that. I don't know. We shall see. For now, like I said, Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.